Hello everyone, it's Jones DeFear and we have another amazing video here for you today. I hope you're having a fantastic day, an amazing day. If not, I hope it gets better for you soon. In this video, we're going to have just one fight. It's going to be my Zenitsu versus Akaza. Now this guy was, uh, he was, I thought, I thought he was better than me. So, um, yeah, this Akaza player was better than me, in my opinion. And, I mean, let's see what happens, man. This was a tough fight for me. I had to think a lot and I had to try to play some mind games and figure some stuff out. So let's get into it. Drop it. Shall we begin? Alright. Begin. Alright, he, he got in there with that priority. Let's see. Damn, man. He's manhandling me. There's a lot of neutral here. He's got a lot of control over the neutral. This guy has uh, about, I guess, over 90 ranked wins, which is about 20 or 30 more than mine if you add up all my accounts, my main account and my training account. I'm on my training account right now. He's just pressuring me. So this guy has more experience than me, and he has more wins than me. But he's also one of the best uh, Akaza players that I've played. And yes, of course, this is already a day or so old. Um, and this stuff goes in order. Nice. We actually got some contact there, get the combos, and I screwed up and dropped my combo. Very unfortunate. Not good. Not sure why I dropped it. Made a mistake, and I'm getting punished big time for it. I used my ultimate art to just get out of there. Like, I'm doing some whack, weird stuff. I'm trying to play differently because I feel like I have to, to have a chance against this guy. Nice. That would have been the time to use my ultimate. So I'm not doing too good. Not doing too good at all. But we will try, boys. Nice. So we punished him, and we got that first round. Good stuff. Trying to be unpredictable, I think that's a very important aspect of oof, that grab, man, was so good. It was a sexy grab. He did good. And I keep running into that. He knows when I'm going to dash him, and he just punishes me with, with that art that intercepts the, the dash. So I'm really getting destroyed pretty badly. He's juggling me. Damn, man. Wow, he just parried me too. That's crazy. I learned that one of the best times to parry is after you've wasted the support so that they can't be saved. That seems, you know, in basic. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. But you'd be surprised. This guy did it to me and it is what it is. I was going to use my support to get out of the combo anyways, so he kind of... It's not like you can waste a parry, but if you parry all the time, then people expect it, right? You kind of want to set yourself up a parry for a long combo that they can't escape out of. So this guy just easily dominated me in that second round. Alright, here I'm not dropping my combo. Okay, that's fine. We did a reset. Into the grab. Perfectly timed. I timed that. I planned that. A lot of times, I do certain things to try to waste time to get my my meter back because I like having a full or near full meter so that I can do actions, so I can move, so I can cancel my actions. There we go. And this is perfectly timed. That's the my one of my bread and butter ultimate jit, ultimate jitsu's ultimate ultimate art combos. I got Naruto Storm Four on the brain and Storm Three and Revolution and Storm Two. Nice, he just jumped over. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh my god. He opened me up. I made a mistake. Used Nezuko to save me. Alright. Damn, man. Every time, he knows what I'm going to dash, and he just intercepts with the art. 
Damn. Is this man gonna perfect me? Oh my god, I think he is. Well, I for I didn't I don't remember this happening this way, I'll be honest with you. Damn Yo Is that a it's a perfect is that a perfect? I think that's the first time I got perfected. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I've never been perfected before in this game. I've always at least got some chip damage. That was embarrassing. Oh, it's on like Donkey Kong, buddy. Let's go. This is not looking good for me, boys. Yeah, I mean, the majority of this match is me just getting destroyed, but I'm being calm, I'm being patient. And I mean, I'm not tilting, I'm not upset. I know it's not live commentary, so you can't tell, but I mean, I was listening to an audiobook, I'm pretty sure, so. There we go. Yep, I'm gonna do it. Wow, okay. Okay. And we got him. So the nice thing is, I believe I have slightly more ranged motions and movements. So this really benefited me in this battle to change the range allowed me to win the match in a very calm manner so i mean sometimes you can beat opponents that are better than you more skilled um it just it's all about the decision making it's all about not giving up and uh sticking to your guns and knowing what you're doing so you have to pick a main and, and use your main right anyways guys let me know in the comments what you think about this guy i'm sure you guys have fought really skilled players yourselves and I'm sure you've come up across a player that is like possibly better than you. Uh, and how did you handle it? And how did it go well? I really didn't think it was going to go like this for me. Uh, but I didn't give up on myself. I stopped. I didn't stop believing myself. And I just, I did my best. I tried my best. I did everything I could to win. And I ended up winning. So, I mean, that's how it is. Just don't give up. And uh, sometimes it'll work out for you. You know, just don't give up. But if you do, if you give up, you'll never know. You'll never know if it'll work out for you or not, right? You can't just assume, oh, it's not going well. And I'll just give up because it's not going to work anyways. Because this guy totally had it. He totally had it and I turned it around. So never give up and don't lose to fear. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.